Hey friends, let's make a simple and easy but similar recreation of this song together and learn the fundamental techniques. First, I start with the kick. This is a punchy and fat kick which is sampled from the original song and I highly recommend you to watch my kick sampling video, Stealing Kicks. It is very useful and I show you how to do this exactly. This is a very beautiful kick. and no processing on it because it is sampled. Next we have a very simple clap right here from Kashmir Sample Pack. Without the processing it sounds like this. With the kick. Now here the processing starts. For the start I have made the room for the kick right here by reducing this frequency right here. For the kick to pop out more. But later, I will compensate for this frequency right here at 4K area to make the clap forward a little bit. After that, I used Transient Master right here to add a little bit of attack to the, to the clap. I'm just using this to bring the clap forward in the mix. Next, I'm using this lovely plugin which I use every day in, every day in all my productions. This is Spectre and I use it as an EQ for boosting frequencies. And this EQ doesn't have any phase issues. And this is kind of an EQ and distortion saturation plugin. But in a parallel way, I'm boosting around this area at around 4K and but this is in a parallel way. I'm adding harmonic and I'm adding saturation and distortions in parallel to the clap in this frequency range. And most producers like to do this with a simple EQ, but this sounds amazing. Yeah, I'm using this for a few months right now and 80% of the time I replace this with an EQ. So. Yeah, the clap is very powerful right now after doing these two techniques. Next with the utility plugin, I'm reducing the width of the clap. I'm reducing the side informations because I want to make the clap centered like the kick. And I want to fill the side informations with other stuff right here. So clap so far and at the end a very nice chamber reverb to the clap. Yes, the signature sound of Afterlife record label. And this is my reverb chain. In the width channel I'm removing the low informations. Here is the reverb. Before and after of the reverb I used I have used the EQ and here Valhalla Room, Bright Room, Reverb Mode right here, and the preset is a small chamber, which is at 100 percent and I'm using it as a dry and wet channel right here. Very simple, and after that I'm compressing the reverb to put it in the back of the clap and I'm adding depth to the clap. The clap is forward, the reverb is in the background. A subtle difference but very important in the long run. After that we have the hi-hat group right here. There is a room reverb on the hi-hats, the solo of the hi-hats. Again, the same trick right here, before and after the reverb, I'm using EQ, and here is the reverb and the room preset in the Waves Great Plugin Arbor. And this is also Drive It, and this is the main hi-hat. As you've noticed, the groove in the hi-hat, it is in the groove section, I'm using the Swing 16 and 15 preset. I turn this off and notice the, di notice the difference, everything is sounds abrupt and very digital. No velocity, no groove, but with this one, amazing. And here there are no processing, but two important ones. The first is adding more width to the sound of this main hi-hat with this utility plugin. A big change to the sound, especially in the mix. And after that, I'm using this EQ to reduce the harsh high end a little bit, more than a little bit, of course, around <laughs> minus four dBs. And together with the other parts of the drums, 
Next, I'm adding this organic shaker from Kashmir Pack to add a little bit of dips to the cymbals and hi-hats. This is the solo of the shaker. Together with the hi-hat. Now the hi-hats are sounding organic and more natural to the ear. Without the shaker, not very pleasant. Together with the whole drums, very nice. Next, there is the bass, which is very important to this track. Very groovy and very powerful, but simple at the same time. And guys, this is a very simple bass, minus two octave. There is a saw wave and minus one. There is this sine wave, very simple, and the presets are free for download in the project, which is in the description. I highly recommend you to download them and check the preset. Very simple bass. After that, I'm using again this spectre right here. I'm just increasing the fundamental frequencies of the bass right here in the low mid area by 1 dB. It is making it just more fat and more powerful. Very nice. It is adding the weight that we need in this style of music. Next there is this EQ. I'm just rolling off all the high end of this bass because this is a bass and I'm making room for the other melodies and other lead and synth sound in this pro in this production. Now the bass is deep. I turn this off. It is very distracting right now. But this is acting like a bass right now. And this EQ, in the mix down I added this EQ, I just wanted to keep the low end and the sub frequencies of the bass right here and I wanted to reduce this around minus one and a half dB right here, just a simple mix decision right here, not very important. After that I have mono the bass right here to make it center like a drums right here and after that just a very simple side chain to the kick and together with the other with other elements. Yes, this is the groove. Beautiful. Next guys, a very important element is this one note sustain right here. This is insanely simple but very powerful. The one note is the root note of the key that we are working in which is D major. So I'm using this D note right here. And a very simple saw wave with unison in it and nothing more. And in the process, because this is very digital, I'm adding some RC20 color to it with noise, a little bit of wobble and distortion to make it more natural. Nice. And then I'm reducing the high end with this filter. I'm putting this in the background of the mix. Next I'm cutting the low end and after that a big reverb on it to again make it a little bit more in the background. Nice, together with the beat. Next, this is this famous plug melody and this is not the exact recreation guys and as I have told you in the description I'm not going to recreate the exact sounds anymore because of the copyright issues that I'm having with the previous remake videos but this is the same we will learn the fundamentals and all the techniques but this is a little bit different and a little bit less details in the MIDI programming probably. The preset is simple guys, two saw waves, one is one octave down, the second one is zero and the higher octave does have unisense in it, very simple with this envelope shape right here, this is the sound. Now I'm using transient shaper to bring the sound forward and I needed to add more attack to the sound. A 
lot of tech. Next, I'm going to make this sound as wide as possible. So this is not a mono sound because of the unisense that we have used here, but I'm adding a lot of side information to the sound. With wider plugin right here, a lot of side information. And after that, I'm going to increase and widen the side informations that I have added to the sound with ozone measure right here. A lot of solid information boost in the high mid frequencies in this area. This is very wide right now. And right here to bring the sound forward, I'm using Spectre and I'm using this frequency range area that I have used on the clap sound. A very simple technique. I always boost around this area on my main sounds if they need, of course, to bring them forward in the mix. Very nice and powerful. Very beautiful. Next, this sound is very dry, so I'm using delay and I use delay before the reverb 90% of the times. Nice. And there's this Valhalla vintage verb right here. With half seconds of PK. Together with the beat. Sustain those off. Such a big difference, very important. Next, I'm using four layers of synths in the background to support this lead and make it warmer and fatter and also wider. Let's listen to the solo of all these layers together. These are acting like a reverb but much fatter than a reverb. And there are four layers right here. First one is a square. Okay, this is adding a little bit of body to the sound. Next, this synth sound is focused on the mid frequencies also. A little bit lower. This one is a white synth right here. Yeah, a saw wave with a lot of unisons and the tune and last layer is this aggressive synth sound just to add some character to the our lead sound right here in the to the plug melody in the processing i'm adding a little bit of transient master right here to just lower the sustains and make the sound a little bit more clean a little bit muddy with the different sustain amounts of different layers so I'm reducing all the group right here with this transient master plugin next we have the reverb to make the sound in the background and guys when I'm when I want to put my sounds in the background of the mix I don't use the reverb as a synth channel like this right here I put it directly on the sound to make it a little bit sit in the background of the music. You see the difference? Now it is in the background. Next I have cut it the low end and nothing else together with this lead sound. I turn them off. I turn them on. Now, in the whole context of the music. After that layer. And next, very easy to add a little bit of texture and dips to the production. I'm using these very two simple white noise sweeps of cashmere. Nice. And this one at the end of the eight bars. Hope you enjoyed this one, guys, and I see you in the next video.